Jacksonville University baseball enters the 2020 season with one word in mind, competition. That includes on its roster, where experience and depth are present everywhere. I think we've got, we've got some veterans in some critical spots. The guys in the middle, they've played a lot of baseball. With Jacob, with behind the plate, and with Dakota, Scotty, Ruben, right up the middle. I mean, they've been playing this game a long time, especially in the Dolphin uniform. On the mound, we've got, some, we've got some depth. We've got some real competition from a starter standpoint. We really legitimately have six guys on any given day that could give us a start. After missing the last year and a half due to rehab from Tommy John surgery, redshirt junior pitcher and catcher Mike Casala is hoping to use that experience to shape his leadership. For me personally, I would say because I've had the game taken away from me, and this will be the first time I've been on the field in almost two years, I like to treat every single day like it's my last time on the field, and I feel blessed to be back out here with all the guys. You know, you're playing with your best friends every day. So hopefully the guys around me see how much I love the game. Maybe my passion wears off, rubs off a little bit on them. That's kind of my goal of day to day. Redshirt senior shortstop Dakota Jalila dealt with his own injury scare costing him a season. And after focusing on settling back in last year, the preseason ace and defensive player of the year is ready to take the next step. Just be consistent, you know, be the same guy every day on and off the field. Show the freshmen and the underclassmen the way as uh, how, like how to compete, you know, how to go everyday life, uh, working and practicing and stuff like that. Nothing's given to you. You got to earn every single out you get in this game. And, uh, you know, we don't have a time limit in baseball, man. You got to finish every game. We learned that last year. Tough calls in the ninth inning, uh, you know, didn't go our way last year. So uh, we got to clean that up and just finish ball games. Who's up? Head coach Chris Hayes has never shied away from challenging his team in scheduling, with the ultimate goal of having them prepared for a potential postseason run. Well, we always want to challenge ourselves and put ourselves in a situation that if we play well, that our schedule will equate to a very high strength of schedule, therefore a very high RPI, uh, and we can kind of bust through that bubble like we did a couple years ago. It's, you know, for me, from a philosophical standpoint, I want to challenge what it is that we do every single year. But we've got some familiar faces on the schedule as well. You know, we're opening with West Virginia. Uh, then we go and we got the Gators here and we go to games. So the first five games of the year, you know, we go Big 12 and SEC. We'll be tested right out of the chute. These guys are going to figure out whether or not they're ready. After earning an NCAA regional bid two years ago, the team came up just short of the postseason last year. For Casala and Jalila, who missed that regional appearance due to injury, they are determined to help lead the Dolphins back. Think about how close we've been and how realistic it really is for us to make a run. I mean, that I get fueled by the by the devastation. I don't think about the good times. I think about the bad times to kind of get me through adversity. And there's no better feeling than the success. Think about that end goal, that ultimate feeling on the baseball field, winning games, winning championships, and that kind of drives you to want to recreate those moments with all your brothers on the field. Just appreciate everything, man. You know, this is short. It's a short ride here, even though it's been five years now. And, um, you know, I can't wait for the last year. I'm pumped.